How low papper people. Look, I really appreciate you just spending a small part of your day here with me on this channel, The Lanky Lefty 27. Hey, do me a quick favor, subscribe to this channel and please hit that like button. Truth be told, you may get through just a small portion of this video, decide you actually don't really like it all that much and click off before you have the opportunity to click the like button. So really, it actually benefits me a little more if you just go ahead and click that little puppy right now. Thanks. Very quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, CheapCPAPsupplies.com forward slash lefty. Today we are going to be doing a review of the ResMed AirTouch N20 mask. It is a nasal mask and you can see in ResMed's coded language, AirTouch equals memory foam while AirFit equals silicone. Now if you haven't already, please check out my other video of the ResMed AirFit N20. It is the silicone version of this mask. I'll tell you up front, it's a great mask. I like it a lot. What does the memory foam have to offer? Well, we'll get into that here in just a bit. Let's first just talk about the fittings and the inner workings of the mask itself. It's a mask. I would call it a fairly standard mask, meaning it covers up your entire nose. If you're new to CPAP, uh, using a mask that covers up your nose is usually advisable. You have less surface area when compared to a full face mask, but you still need to control for mouth leaking. And you do that by using a double-sided bow and by mouth guard, uh, some people tape, just anything to really cover up the mouth and keep it from leaking. So long as you don't have a deviated septum or chronic and nasal congestion, you'll be just fine with it. Let's talk about the specifics of this mask though. We have the famed magnet technology. So if we take off both magnets and just kind of let the mask hang here, it makes it really easy to put on. Check that out. And then really, I don't even have to know the vicinity of it. Look, I can do it with my eyes closed. It'll just like, hold on, hold on. Now I already have this size for me, but if you want to tighten the top part of the mask, you just want to, look, if I undo it, you can make it really sag here. We don't want that. We want it snug on top. The bottom part, same thing. We want it snug but not overly tight that's right there now the good thing is once you get this thing fit for you every single night you don't have to mess around with these adjustments you just use the magnetic clips to take it off and put it back on makes it very easy let's check out one more thing this is the same with the air fit n20 if you're busy snoozing away at night instead of having to walk to the restroom like this like a like a little mini elephant you can actually leave this, all this stuff attached, turn off your machine, pinch in here, and take this off. Now you can breathe okay through this little hole. You don't have to take off your mask. Fumble with it when you get back to bed because God knows we're all a little groggy at that point. Makes your, the flow of your night much smoother. Okay, putting this back in is simple. You don't even have to push on anything. You just push in here a couple clicks and you're good to go. Exhalation port is right here. This thing, uh, it will put out a little bit of air. So if you have a bed partner, you do kind of want to stay away from them or at least angle this in a way that it's not shooting them in the forehead. They'll appreciate that. More or less, that's the mask in and of itself. Pretty simple. At this point, I can tell you are super into this mask. You wanna get yourself some Air Touch N20 mask. Now, where do you do that? You can head on over to cheapcpapsupplies.com forward slash lefty and check out some of these sweet deals we have here. Go ahead and find that N20 Air Touch mask. You can check out all the cushion sizes. You have yourself small, medium, large. You even have the For Her version, which I don't know if it's just pink or if it's like really small or I don't know what the deal is with it. You also have different headgear sizes. You have small, medium, large. Again, For Her. I believe the medium is actually called standard, so sorry for that. Now, if you're going to be paying for this with cash, no sweat. We have some discount codes for you. Lefty16 always works. You can check down in the description box below to see if we have some other ones. Sometimes VIP30 works. No promises. Once you put any item in your cart, you just go ahead and edit your cart and in there you'll see a spot to enter those codes. The website is super easy to navigate. They have tons of masks, machines, and accessories. And look, let's face it, let's pretend like you buy the AirTouch N20 mask and you're not real happy with it. You're like, you know what? I like that other mask better. I want to try a different mask. You have 30 days to return the mask. You get full store credit so you can get yourself a different mask. Keep swapping them babies out until you're happy. If you need some advice, you want to chat with one of their customer service reps, you can chat with them, you can email them, and you can speak with them live. It makes it extremely easy on everyone. I want to say thanks again to the sponsor of this video, CheapCPAPsupplies.com. Forward slash lefty. Don't forget to use that part. Now, what makes this thing different than the AirFit N20? And that is definitely just the cushion. Now, the nice thing about this mask, the AirTouch and the AirFit versions, meaning the silicone cushion and the memory foam cushion, they're interchangeable. So if you have this frame system, for the N20, 
you can use either cushion. You can even interchange them. So if you're someone who has a hard time with the silicone, you start getting the rash. You know, some people have that reaction. The silicone cushions are not all that breathable sometimes, and some people really react to get rashes, pressure sores on the nose, things like that. The air touch version, I would say, is superior in both of those categories. I personally also think it's better as far as maintaining a seal because the silicone's not gonna, the silicone will fold up on itself, the memory foam won't. Now this thing does have some drawbacks. Um, I've seen reported versions. This is this is not with the N20 version because this is so new, but this is with the AirTouch F20 version. People will say that it, it will crack and they'll say that the wetness, this is their drooling constantly, will degrade the cushion, which, you know, that makes sense. So there are some drawbacks to this, but overall there's a lot of pros as far as comfort go, especially for myself. Okay, so what if you are using the other mask and you wanna change the cushion? Let me see if I can show you here. Now when you're pulling this off, you kinda of wanna do it, let me just put it right side up so you can see a little better. You kinda of wanna do it from this area here because in here is where the clip is. So if you can wedge your finger in, thumb and forefinger, and then kinda of get under this piece, under this piece and pry up, it'll pop out. Now here's the clips I was talking about. Those are the ones that you want to kinda of pry it off of. So getting it off is a little difficult sometimes. Now as far as getting this cushion off, I would only do that if you're trying to change the cushion itself. Whether you're using the Air Touch memory foam version or you're using the Air Fit silicone version, this thing is hella hard to get off. So you're really gonna be prying at it for a while. So if you're washing this, this cushion, the memory foam cushion, is just meant to be wiped down with water, if anything. These cushions are actually replaceable every 30 days is what they say. Some people report that they get a lot longer life out of them. And some people say they get a little bit of shorter, more like 20 days. Now, if you have something like Medicare, I mean, most insurance companies go based on Medicare, they will replace it every month. It's considered a mass cushion that you get replacements for. So not a big deal if you're not paying for it out of pocket. I tend to treat these reviews as if everyone is paying cash and things that are disposable like this uh, have a 30 day lifespan kind of irritate me. So. In that regard, I really don't like it, but as far as fit and comfort, I really do like it. Let me take this off in the most painful way possible. So look, you have to wedge your finger behind here and it'll eventually wrench off. Now, I'm a big husky boy and I have little weaselly wiry fingers that are strong. So it's kind of easier for me to get it off, but I have struggled with these and I can see someone like my dad or my mom trying to get one of these off. It's not gonna happen. But if you wanted to change the cushion out, that's all you would do. Then you would take your Air Fit cushion and pop it right back in the exact same spot. Getting it on is much easier. So if we're gonna put it back on, I'm gonna put the memory foam one back on. Now getting these back on is not too bad. You just have to line up these little tabs here and then push firmly and it pops right back on. Really easy to get back on. Getting it off, whew. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick pressure check with this guy. This is at 10 centimeters of water pressure. Now let's do 20 centimeters of water pressure. If you want to learn how to turn the pressure up on your machines, check out a lot of my other videos. <laughs> I just want you to hear this, it's on 20 centimeters of water. Not sawdometers, not snapper pappers, not sadabers. Now listen, I don't even have this thing on that tight and it's it really seals well. So here you can feel the air, or you can see the air comes out of this port. It kind of shoots it straight out. So if you're facing your bed partner, you're gonna be blasting them. Thank God I have this wind sock on my bike. 20 centimeters of water is a little bit for, a little, little much for me. So I've been reviewing the AirTouch N20 for probably a couple weeks at this point. I've been testing it with other things, like I'm trying to, I always try to double up my videos. I've been testing it out with some, uh, some new methods to keep my mouth closed while I sleep. That's a huge problem for me. My mouth always pops open. So I wanna caution you, with any other, with any nasal pillow mask or any nasal mask, if you have mouth leaking, it's really gonna disrupt the entire efficacy or the effectiveness of your CPAP therapy. If your mouth opens, the pressure's gonna drop. You could have resumed apneas. You're also gonna really dry out your mouth. You're also gonna be waking up. Doesn't really matter if apnea is waking you up or if your mouth popping open is waking you up, you're waking up and you need to do something to resolve that. So one of the things you can do is you can look at a free program called Oscar. You can, you can look at all the data and see if any of this stuff is happening to you. I have a couple tutorials on it where I'm actually talking with my dad about this stuff and you can kind of get some clues as to what I'm looking at. If you yourself are having a hard time with your PAP therapy, you're not getting the most 
restful night's sleep. I do have a service on my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com called the PAP therapy analysis. I'll log onto your computer, look at your data on Oscar on your computer with you, talk about what I'm seeing and make some recommendations on how you can improve your sleep. So what I'm saying is it's not always the mask. The AirTouch N20 is a great mask, but I'm just saying that there's other things. People tend to blame their mask before they blame other things. And sometimes you could be on the wrong pressure or you could be having some kind of a leaking issue. So I just wanted to say that very quickly before I say my final thoughts on this. I actually like this personally a lot better than the AirFit version. And I only say that because this thing is a leak champ. It it really does not allow for leaking. Typically when I do a test on 20 centimeters of water pressure, um, or even during the night, I'll get a lot of leaking, a little, just a little minor leaks, and you just kind of pop it away and you're done with it just a few times. I had no leaking problems with this other than out of my mouth. Um, that has nothing to do with this mask though. Once I fixed any of my mouth leaking issues, the AirTouch N20 really sealed well, and it did so, uh, typically I have to have, kind of have my face off the side of the pillow so it doesn't take the mask and tweak it, allowing air to escape here. I was able to kind of have my whole face and the mask on the pillow and it sealed really well throughout the night. So if you're looking for a nasal mask, whether you're new to CPAP, or especially if you're having problems with irritation from silicone, even pressure sores on the bridge of your nose, I would really highly recommend you at least give the AirTouch N20 a shot. Very easy to use with the magnets. The frame system that you can use it with silicone or the memory foam makes it great, makes it a really nice solid mask. At this point, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any thoughts on this mask or any other mask, please leave those thoughts in the comment section below. Now, if you're using a standard silicone mask, please check out my product on maskbrite.com or on Amazon. It is called Maskbrite. It's a mask cleaning spray. It works great. The pump mechanism sucks apparently, but the product is great. So check it out. Give it a shot if you'd like to support this channel. You can become a patron of mine at patreon.com. You can do standalone donations and please consider using my Amazon affiliate link now. Thanks for watching. Please consider using my Amazon affiliate link down in the description box below. I clicked the link and added some items that my family needs like a youth baseball bat for my son, but found that it makes my tiny hands seem large, so I use it too. We also got this street ball so my children will know the joys of being dunked on by a pear-shaped man. I also bought an ice cream to protect my YouTube face. Jesus! We also got this ice cream maker. Are you eating ice cream out of the tub again? No. Because as I discovered while batting, I may have very small hands, but I am still a thick boy. Sick it out! Even white boys got the shout! Baby got back! Well, damn, if you can't go to bed in no chase, what the hell could you go? Do me a quick favor and check the description box below for ways that you can help out this channel. One thing you can do is head on over to maskbrite.com. You can pick up some Maskbrite because guess what? You probably got a stinky mask. Clean it up, get the grease oils off. Another thing you can do is check out the discount CPAP mask section. We have a ton of used masks, but we also have a ton of new masks. You can get a brand new F30, you can get an N30i starter pack, you can get a Dream Wisp fit pack, you can get a Viterra new, you can get N20s, P30i's, we have Dreamwear gel pillows, we have Bravita, we have P10 fit packs, and we have F20s as well as Dreamwear full face mask. Come check it out, help us out. Thank you for supporting our channel. Thank you to anyone watching this video, but an extra special thank you to my top level Patreon supporters. Thanks buddy to Alan Liu, Stuart Heffington, and Mona Swearingen. Thank you and thanks buddy.